With Michigan State's fan base on the edge of its seat, it all came down to one final shot for the Spartans against the number two team in all the land. And collectively, if you ask everyone from Tom Izzo to the players, it is a shot that they would love to have had back. Well, we were going inside outside. We thought that we thought that uh, we tried to post Malik, but we thought Tyson was going to be wide open because they were going to put everybody down there, and he was. He came off it. He said he slipped a little bit, but it got he looked wide open. Then he tried to do it off the dribble, and he slipped a lot. What was it like for you watching that final shot go up? You know, as you're on the bench. Uh, you know, it was it was. Uh, I thought we got very good plan going to that last shot. Um, I thought we got we got very good chance to win it, but. When I didn't see him go in, uh, it was a little, little bit sad. Other than Gonzaga's Drew Timmy, who was named the MVP of this game, the star for Michigan State was undoubtedly Mati Sissoko. The junior center had a career high day in points and rebounds with 14 and 9, and he was able to show the rest of the country what Izzo has been hinting at all summer. Mati played his heart out for us. Um, he did everything we asked of him to a T, um, if not more. Um, and, and it shows in his stats and the things that he did and how he dictated the game in the first half. Um, you can see the little struggles we had when we had to go small when he was in foul trouble. Um, but Marty did his thing and we appreciate him for doing that. Well I thought Marty did a heck of a job trying to front. He was getting bowed a little bit, but uh, you know he missed some free throws early. We jumped on him at halftime and give him credit he made a bunch at the second half and uh, it was just one of those things where uh, we just ran out of bodies. There is no doubt about it, this game felt like an NCAA tournament game, and it's only the first week of the season. Michigan State, of course, is not going back to East Lansing with a win, but they are going home with a lot of confidence, and it's confidence that they're going to need because the road does not get any easier from here with having to face Kentucky on Tuesday in the Champions Classic in Indianapolis. In San Diego, I'm Audrey Dahlgren, Six Sports.